Carl, a good win against League Two opposition. Yeah, no, we're delighted in there, you know, especially down the bare bones a little bit. Um, a couple of players, particularly defensively, um, isolating, and then you know, Glenn going on holidays, obviously always going to be a big miss, but I thought everyone that came in and, and filled the roles were, were superb, and fitness levels were really good, considering we all had to, generally all of us had to play 90 minutes, bar a couple. Um, and obviously it's not easy when they rotate and they bring fresh legs on after an hour, so two different types of performances. Worked the ball really well first off and then dug in and defended brilliantly second. Skipper in the side tonight in the absence of Taylor and Curtis. How did you find that one? Uh, I've done, done it before in the past at previous clubs, so it's, I'm, not, I'm not alien to it, but uh, it's always nice to get that responsibility and I think I've always enjoyed that role and um, you know, trying to be a leader and encourage the lads around us. So, uh, yeah, enjoyed it and uh, it was a good win as well. So, on a clean sheet, so I'll be, uh, I'll be having a word with Tails and Curtis and, <laughs> and seeing if we can uh, arrange something. Yeah. Uh, come out with uh, some bandage on your right knee. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. No, well, that, it, 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 this is why, um, you know, when I'm part time and I'm playing at this level, I need to manage my body. You know, I'm not in with a physio every single day. So, with me, it's all about managing my body right and recovering properly. I've got ice on my knee, ice on my groin, and, you know. <laughs> 30 plus now so uh, you have to be sensible and look after the body and I feel good I feel fit so long may that continue Yeah and uh, under Jason Ainsley it was more a four at the back wasn't it Tommy I think in pre-season especially Gateshead and Brackley I think his first game in charge he went straight to a three at the back how are you finding it then with um, you and I'm guessing Joe Tate and James Curtis but two, uh, two new boys in behind you as well tonight yeah, it's not positions that they're, they're used to, uh, Butty to the left of us and John to the right of us, but they're both quick, fit boys, so anything anything sort of down the channels, they were superb, they had the legs to get there, which is nice for me, not having to get dragged out there, you know, I'd just work them into positions and um, and tell them where they need to be, but they didn't need much instruction, to be honest, mate, and I thought they were superb, but I think the three, um, you know, when, when games start to get competitive, when you've got Big Jamesy and, and Tatey, I just think that really suits us, you know, we feel quite solid and comfortable in it and um, it allows us to get an overload in midfield as well with three lads in there, so I think it works really well being able to play through them and like you've seen in the first half, played some really good stuff coming out from the back, um, so it's definitely a formation that, that suits us. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, you've mentioned it yourself about being the more senior pros on the side, you never seem to stop talking throughout the entire of the 90s, is that something that you think you bring to this side, especially with the youth in and around you? Yeah, well, when you can't run, uh, the, the next best thing is to talk and try and get people in good positions, try and read the game. And I just think I've always felt like talking just keeps me involved in the game. You know, wherever the ball is, you know, you, you always feel involved in the game. So it's something that I like to do. And I think uh, hopefully my teammates see the benefit of it.